All right, we got the High Priestess right in the center of the reading. This can be the Divine Feminine. It also is knowledge and wisdom and seeing beyond the facade of things, researching things, investigating things. I feel like you guys are going to really take an interest more so in the metaphysical realm of things as well. But it's also hidden knowledge. So let's take a look and see where we're going with this. We got the Ace of Air, which is a brand new start, a breakthrough, truth coming out, a new start to something, communication of truth, which is good, coming in with that High Priestess. We got the King of Water, which is being emotionally in a good place. For some of you, this is a water sign person, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, that you're going to be starting something new with. Or they're going to come tell you some new big news. We got the two of earth, which is a decision that you have to make regarding money. It could be you wanting to start your own business. It could be two business opportunities that are going to present themselves for you. And you having to make a decision about this. I do see you having two opportunities. And it may involve this water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising that's going to give you a breakthrough or a brand new start. Some of you might have been trying to manifest this. Wow, we got the Ten of Water, which is total emotional fulfillment. Big love and love options for those of you that are single. We got the Queen of Earth, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Remember that it could be, you could, it could be your sun, moon, or rising also. It could also be you if you have a rising in Taurus or Virgo or whatever, or water as well. I'll convey what I'm feeling from it in a minute. Then we got the page of water, which is emotional expression, typically of love, but it could also be emotional support. It is coming underneath this ton of water. A lot of you are gonna that are single are having a breakthrough in love. You're gonna have options. Okay, those of you that are hoping for a water sign or an earth sign, it looks like they're going to be coming with a new option. They're going to become an option for you as well. These for for those of you that are single, it looks like there's a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, or an earth sign, sun, moon, or rising, that you're going to have a choice or an option to pick between the two or two possibilities. Okay. I do see a breakthrough or a new business opportunity starting with a water sign for those of you that that applies as well. Um, let's take a look. We got the moon under the high priestess. There's some things that you're really unsure about. Okay. Um, well, not really. The high priestess knows all. So, but the moon is kind of like vague circumstances, uncertainty. It could be nostalgia. It could be feeling a little like, you know, somber. I'm feeling like in this case, the full moon has something to do with this offer of expression of love for you guys. Pay attention to that, okay? Because that's what I'm getting strong. It could be from an earth sign or a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. And then we have the five of air. I feel like a lot of you are kind of fed up with a lot of things and you're gonna be cutting things out and people out. You're gonna be setting really strong boundaries with other people. You're not gonna waste your time around anybody that wastes your time anymore. And you're not gonna be dealing with vague circumstances, situations anymore. You want total clarity. You want to, you're going to be a straight shooter is what I just got from that. Now, some of you may have had to cut a business partner out or a relationship out, or you had sharp words with somebody, sharp words, harsh words. You felt like you were cut down or, or they, or you cut them down, whatever it is with an earth sign or a water sign also. 
Now at the bottom, we got the seven of water, which is a lot of options, okay, and choices. Some are good, some are not so good. I feel like you guys are very aware of this, and that's what this five of air <clears throat> here is. It's like really, truly cutting out the nonsense, not letting anybody close to you that's not good. See how there's all these different types of things here? Not letting anybody close to you that's no good. You're really going to be setting proper boundaries. I feel like March is going to present a bunch of opportunities. Okay. And I feel like for those of you that are single and love, and you're going to have to be very selective about who you pick. And those of you that are involved with somebody or waiting for somebody, you're going to have to make the right choice on that as well. And some of you, these are job and career opportunities and money opportunities, but there's going to be like a lot of a lot of things are going to present themselves to you and you're going to be feeling really good. Okay. I do feel you feeling emotionally happy and content. And some of you just want to go out and find love. You're ready for love is what I just got too for some of you. So take what, uh, what resonates with you. Okay. Cause there's a lot of you, it's hard to read general readings for so many of you. And I'm trying to be as specific as possible about it. So let's take a look at this King of Water. Can you tell me more about the King of Water for Leo for March 2020? All right, we got patience. So either some of you have been waiting on this person to start something new, a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and you're deciding on whether or not you want to wait for them anymore or wait for it, whether it's business, relationship, or anything like that. But you're being advised to wait a little bit with the patience card. Something is coming through here. This person might be held up or stuck or feeling like they're stuck, or they may feel... They got a lot of things that they're concerned about or worried about or thinking through or trying to work out or whatever, and they're not making any moves yet. And that's why there's patience. And for some of you, this is regarding a money opportunity, a business opportunity, a job. So if you're waiting for an offer, it's coming through. Just be patient a little bit, okay? Now, if it's a love interest, the same thing goes. Okay, because they're, 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 they're mentally stuck or they're feeling like they're stuck or something and you're being asked to have patience because there is a breakthrough. There is communication or truth coming through. Okay. Um, I'll get one more on that. Tell me more about the eight of air and the patience for the king of water. Yeah, see, I feel like they got a lot of stuff on their plate right now. They're like really heavily burdened with stuff. Whoever this person is, if it's a job offer that you're waiting on, like I said, they're really busy with stuff and they're kind of not able to move forward yet. So have patience. There is an offer coming through, a breakthrough on it. If it's a love interest, they're burdened too. <laughs> they got stuff going on. They're a little stuck too and you're being asked to have patience. There, there's, there is a breakthrough on that situation an offer coming through, communication coming through, okay? Let's check out this Queen of Earth for Leo. Who is this Queen of Earth? We got the Tower on the Queen of Earth, okay? This is an Earth sign person that sudden ended. They dropped, they dropped, they dropped off, you dropped them. Something ended. could have been dramatically, could have been a shock. They could have cut you out. You could have cut them out. And you're just like confused about it. Let's see. What is this tower in this queen of earth? Leo for March of 2020. There's a clarity on the tower. All right, for some of you, it was a heartache. It was a betrayal. It was a backstab. It was something that just was not good. And you ended it, or they ended it. 
and you kicked him to the curb and you're cutting. And after this, I feel like you guys are just not tolerating any more crap. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. It's like, whatever the situation was, you're like done. You're not. You're setting proper boundaries and you're just not, you're not allowing any more of this to happen. For some of you, it was a betrayal of some sort. For some of you that this was a love interest that ended it with you or you ended it with them, it may have been harsh. Um, I'm feeling them thinking about you a lot. Like, they're going over the situation a million times come Sunday. <laughs> it was something unhealthy or toxic attached to this person or the situation or the environment or whatever it was. Yeah, and it seems like, you know, um, it was something that needs to end, in my opinion. Now, cross watchers, if you're an earth sign, this does not mean it's you. This could be a totally different situation for Leos. But I'm saying it, this in this particular situation, there was some sort of betrayal, backstab, and ending, and it was toxic in some way, shape, or form here. And now you're just like, I'm not getting involved. And you're being very, very careful about your choices here. I've been getting this for you guys. Okay? And it's wise and it's good. And that's what you should do. Okay? Now, you do have a love offer coming through here. Let's check that out. What is this page of water for Leo? Or an emotional expression. What is this page of water? It could be another, could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I this page of water for you. All right, so we got the three of water. So it's like a celebration, a get together, something that's going to make you happy coming in here. Um... And it's under the 10 of water. Like you guys are going to be feeling really good. There's some truth, a breakthrough happening for you guys. Like this big awakening of like no more nonsense here. Okay. You have a new uh, money making opportunity coming through for you. And some of you, if it's a love interest with a water sign person, just be patient. They're going through a lot. Or if it's an, a job opportunity, they're going through a lot. It's going to clear up. You're going to get clarity. It's going to make you emotionally really, really happy. You're going to go out and celebrate. This is the card of celebration. Now, some of you are going to be very happy about this love offer that's coming through for you. Okay, let me see. Tell me more about this page of water. We got the strength card, Leo. This is your card. Okay. Um... Hmm. I feel like somebody's been okay. This may be somebody that you don't even know. Maybe I, because I'm not getting a person on it, which is interesting because, or any real clarity about it. I feel like this is somebody who's been trying to get the courage to hit you up, ask you out, and they're going to ask you out for something casual, like a drink, a, you know, whatever. Um, is what this is and it's somebody that's very interested in you but you don't really know them you don't you're not aware of them that's what i'm getting from that one okay those of you that are involved with somebody or have a love interest or whatever this doesn't change any of that this is just the environment you're going to be in you have choices to make okay um wow so This is what I got for you, Leo. I hope that this helps you um, making decisions and, you know, planning ahead for March. Let me get you a, a couple of Oracle cards here. I do see you're going to be feeling really good. Those of you that are single, you're going to have a lot of love options. And there's somebody unexpected that's been trying to muster up the courage to ask you out. 
okay? It could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. It could be another Leo also, but it doesn't have to be. Again, we have an earth sign. We have a water sign. But listen to the messages so you can, you know, over so you, so you can know what I'm talking about. And let me know in the comments section in March how it goes. All right, Leo was March 2020. What message do we have for them? Interesting. You guys are ruled by the heart. You guys love to love. But this card came out and it says, self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. And this is the truth if your options are bad or if they're toxic like this, okay? Don't be afraid to fly solo because I'm going to tell you in March, you're going to have a lot of options. And if you're involved with somebody or in love with somebody, this isn't, you know, that's probably not your message, okay? Let's see what else we got. Yeah, I did see a celebration here coming through because of this Ace of Air and you feeling really happy. We got celebration. Let go and have fun. This is always the best advice because when you let go and you have fun, hey, you're living life. <laughs> you're just having fun anyway, right? No matter what happens, you're going to have fun anyway. And, you know, life is short, so do it. And I'm going to get one more for you guys. So let's take a look. One more for the news. All right, and then we got the owl. I love the owl. It says, follow your intuition. Trust your intuition on everything, okay? When you, when you get this feeling like this isn't right, this isn't right, you're usually right. So trust your intuition when it comes to things and people and situations. And I see you guys are doing that, okay? So this is awesome. All right, Leos, I love you so much. I'm wishing you nothing but positive outcomes to every situation. I hope you're blessed with everything your heart desires. And I'm sending you lots of love. Thanks so much for joining me. If you'd like a personal reading, you can always visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to click the bell so you can get notified of my uploads as they come. I'm going to be doing a lot of astrology and um, more tarot readings as well, just to let you know. So as always, all my subscribers, I love you. All you newcomers, thank you so much again. Until next.